pedal on the brakes, ready for the gooseneck, back to second gear, out the gooseneck, see the huge crowd, hard on the gas, third, fourth, fifth, ready for those two fast left, the sunlight's coming in your eyes, you're tucked in and you're going for it. But you're not racing, you're travelling to an incident because you're a travelling marshal. You're not only trying to go to the incident as fast and as safely as possible, you're listening to a radio, you're thinking about the incident and you're thinking about what's all going to happen. This is Beyond the Blade and this is the Travelling Marshals. First of all, thank you for inviting us into your, I think the best way to describe it is man cave. It is a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I am very, very envious. If you could just run us through what it takes to be, first of all, a travelling marshal. I mean, how do you apply? We're all asked to do it, we're invited to do it. We try and find people who have, we've all had to compete at the Manx or the TT. Um, and up until this year, we've all had to live locally as well. It's the kind of thing people say to you, if you ever get asked, just have a go at it, you know, because it's such a privilege to be asked to do it. There's a list as long as, you know, your arm of people who have asked to do it and they just keep getting turned away because they're trying to do it for the wrong reasons. If you go looking to do it, you see a travel marshal on a fire blade zipping around the TT course and you think, I want to do that, I want to ride that bike around the TT course. And if that's the reason you're doing it, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. It goes back to the fact we're all ex-racers, we've all, we've all raced here to a decent level and we can all be at a speed where we're used to negotiate. 90% of the riders are going to pass us, apart from maybe sort of the back third of the twins race and the sidecars. And then at the Grand Prix, it's going to be quite the opposite where we're having to like pass them. You mentioned a little bit about the speed being important. So obviously when you're out on track, it's live and you could have John McGuinness behind you. So how important is it to have a fire blade with that performance? Like for the TT, it's crucial. Uh, people have asked us about, why don't you use Africa Twins? You know, why don't you use something that's got more carrying capacity? Literally the best motorbike the Honda produce, and they give us the, the best weapon for us to, to do the best job we can on track, you know, to, to be up to speed and to stay out of the way, basically. If you're at a station on track, and you hear, can you go to it? You've got to literally enter the, one of the fastest tracks in the world at speed. But what is a travelling marshal? What do you do? Have you got first aid response? What, what can you do? There's eight of us now this year, and we position ourselves around the course, Grandstand, Ballacrane, Kurt Michael, Sulby Bridge, Parliament Square, then we have one at the Gooseneck, Brandywell, and then back to the start. So we all have a section that we cover. So anywhere between Ballacrane and Kurt Michael, that's basically my sector. And we'll basically get a shout of go to standby, which just means get yourself prepared. You're probably gonna to go to an incident where the incident is. And that's all we get. It's just like Mike Five, Hanley's go. Once you get to see, you're in charge technically. The marshals will deal with what they've got as best they can. We do have a certain amount of medical equipment that we keep to look after the riders if we need to. And so our main role is scene management. So we're approaching it as a racer would think. And if it's flagged too early, and then you go through it thinking there's nothing, then you can speed up and come across. So it can't be flagged too early, can't be flagged too late. Yeah. Is it the correct flags? Okay. Are people in the right place? And then we're basically, can we continue the session? And if need be, also help deal with the rider, which tends to happen more on the mountain uh, because there's just less doctors and marshals up there. Thanks for your time, mate. Thanks no for doing what you do, because as you say, without you guys, the, the event won't exist. It's quite, it's that simple. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a job that not everyone wants to do, but it's it's a privilege to, to be to do it and to get these bikes every year. I'm like a kid every year, every time the, the new Hondas are coming, they're on the boat, go down and get, them, get it and just can't wait. Like I'm just a massive fan of the, the bike and, and everything that goes with the TT. I'm just a TC fan at the end of the day and I get to be involved, so it's great. Cheers for your time, Willie. No problem at all. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot.